When viewed through the lens of a narcissistic need to stay relevant, a recent speech from Boris Johnson. We couldn't leave unless we agreed to the EU's terms. And there was no doubt that we faced a particular problem in Ireland. And a TV appearance by Nigel Farage. When he claimed there was great victory on VAT, on excise duties, well, actually, the number of items on VAT we have flexibility on is minute. Just show their ability to manipulate matters over Brexit and Northern Ireland and paint themselves as some sort of knight in shining armour. We must be clear about what is really going on here. This is not about the UK taking back control. Racing to our rescue when we don't need to be saved. Here's the point. Monsieur Barnier, who was their chief negotiator, was a damn sight cleverer than Theresa May or Ollie Robbins, our chief negotiators. I hope in some way people are beginning to see past these shysters. Brexit has been a complete waste of time, money and energy, perpetrated particularly by people like Farage and Johnson. He realised in playing a game of chess, if he could get us to accept that there might be a risk to the Belfast Agreement, to the peace process, if we, if we accepted there was a risk, he would then outwit us. With the cost of living crisis still biting hard, I think ordinary voters have more pressing matters than listening to these two millionaires who are perhaps some of the only people to benefit from Brexit. This is the, the EU graciously unbending to allow us to do what we want in our own country, not by our laws, but by theirs. Click here to see another classic Brexit blunder from Rishi Sunak.